Never forget, boys. Let's get it. on guys welcome back to everyday minimalists my name is brandon and today we are looking at this guy here so this is the savivi bull mastiff as you can tell first things first um, this thing is absolutely ginormous it is definitely going to be a pocket dominator here it is deployed um even though it's the mini bull mastiff from savivi it's still huge in the width dimension and the length dimension is going to be a bigger knife and you know, when I was looking at pictures and stuff like that, um, I didn't really look too far into the specifications, but this thing is gonna be almost double the size of the Kaiser. Let me grab that real quick, one second. And here is the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. I can, I can literally say that it's almost double the size in the width dimensions. Insane amount of a blade again, and just to kind of show you guys the size comparison here. On the bottom, we've got the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog, and then on the top, we've got the Civivi Mini Bull Mastiff. This thing is great for specific tasks. So I did bring this camping and it was really good for food processing. If you guys are gonna be doing any like vegetable cutting, cutting meats or processing meats, it's gonna be great for that stuff. Not so much like cutting rope or um, carving wood or anything like that. Nonetheless, it has a really unique design. Not sure if I love the aesthetic, but when it comes to functionality and like cutting up food, it is absolutely prime. First things first, let's get into some specs for you guys. The blade length on this guy, you're looking at 2.97 inches. The overall length, you're looking at 7.17 inches. The close length, you're looking at 4.2 inches. Um, overall weight, you're looking right at about three and a half ounces or 3.51 ounces if you want to be exact. I actually don't have any other knives that have this specific blade steel, but um, it's holding up. I mean, I did cut up a ton of stuff while I was camping and it worked out pretty great. I assume it's probably going to be in a similar property to Savivi's D2 steel. The blade shape, again, that's going to be a cleaver design, so absolutely ginormous blade and it is going to be a flat grind with a stone wash finish. It's going to really be able to tuck away any of those imperfections with the blade itself. So moving on to the handles here you're seeing that there is going to be that black g10 scale which is pretty decent you know it's going to feel very similar to any of the other savivi knives if you've ever owned one that has the black g10 scale really robust fits in the hand really well and it's great let's move on to the pocket clip here so the pocket clip here is going to be deep carry as you can see, it will be able to be recessed in your pocket pretty well. Again, I wouldn't carry this as an EDC just because of how thick it is. It's nice that they do include that pocket clip. And then on the other side, as you can see, it is gonna be reversible. So if you are gonna be using it as a lefty type of setup, then you can definitely swap it over to the other side, which is a really nice feature that Savivi kind of included. Next to the pocket clip, you will see that there is going to be a paracord or lanyard hole, which is gonna be great if you guys do use a paracord or lanyard. I personally don't use paracord or lanyards, but um, you know, if you are someone that does it, it has it available. Savivi is gonna be a subsidiary to We Knives Co. and they make some really amazing knives. So flipping it back over here, you will get the traditional Savivi branding. Got a flipper tab here that is gonna have some jimping. If you have any other Savivi knives that have the bearing system, it's gonna be very similar to that. And then the noise production is actually on par with the shredder. So let me kind of give you guys an example. Here's the shredder and we'll go ahead and deploy this just to give you guys an example for the noise. So there's that. Hopefully you guys can actually hear this. There you go. And then we'll go ahead and show you the mini bowl massive. So it is almost on par with the shredder. Um, you can't really hear a difference. I mean, the biggest differences between these two are, you know, the type of steel that they're using and then essentially the type of blade shape. So here it is next to the shredder. It's still gonna be a relatively large <laughs> knife, guys. Like I said, I would not EDC this knife um, just to the fact that it is gonna be thicker. But again, it's gonna be a good overall knife if you're gonna be using it for you know food processing and that sort of thing. Maybe even cutting open boxes, that edge might really help out. So looking at the bottom side here, you will notice that it is gonna be a liner lock configuration and it does have some jimping, which will help out with ergonomics. Ergonomics overall, it's actually gonna be pretty decent. Um, as you can tell, you can fit it in the hand, no problem. 
with either using that Ford blade twill or not. So it's kind of smaller in the backside, but um, I'm not really filling any hot spots here. Um, maybe some with that pocket clip, but it's very unnoticeable. So overall aesthetic with this one, um, I'm not a huge fan of how it looks just because it is a ginormous blade and cleaver. And when it's concealed, it's really fat. So um, I would give this a seven out of 10 when it comes to aesthetics. Still decent. I mean, if you guys are into the big, huge blades, it's gonna be just fine. As far as ergonomics, I'll give this a solid seven and a half out of 10, just because they did keep in mind, you know, there is a Ford blade twill. There is kind of jumping on that liner lock. It's not bad, but there you guys go. Here is the Civivi Mini Bull Mastiff. If you're someone that's looking for um, something a little bit thicker, um, you like the design of the cleaver, then definitely go purchase it. It was only 50 bucks. I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check this out. If you guys like this content, go ahead, throw me a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead, throw me a thumbs down and I promise to you, we will do better next time. If you guys would like to check out some photos on this knife and then some others, I'm actually experimenting with a bunch of different styles on Instagram. That's just gonna be every.day.minimalist. You guys can follow me there and I will leave a link in the description below as well for that. If you guys would like to see more content here on YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe, ring that bell icon so you know when that next video is live. Thank you guys so much for dropping by and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.